Hello and welcome back to Amateur Radio DMR Programming. My name is Mike, K0NGA, and today we're going to have a little bit of a departure from my norm. We're going to talk about D-Star, and this will be the first, maybe in a series of videos, uh, comparing hotspots. So today we're going to be comparing the Open Spot 2 with the Pi Star. Now, my Pi Star is one of the ones based on the Pi Zero W. Uh, but this will apply regardless because we're going to talk about configuring D-Star on these things and probably a little bit more importantly configuring the radio because the way that the two hotspots handle connecting to D-Star reflectors is a little different and the way that you have to program the radio in order to access the hotspot is also different and I think this is causing confusion in the field I know I was confused and I figured if I'm getting confused other people are probably gonna get confused as well so I thought I'd make a video on it so we're gonna start out with looking at the open spot now if you've used an open spot you know that the way you connect to things and the way that you set up your radio is a two-stage process there's a connector page and there's the modem page the connector page is what connects you to the reflector, and the modem is how you set it up to communicate with your radio. So if we go here, this is my open spot two. If I go to my connector page, you will see uh, that I've, I'm set up on RF slash XRF, which uses D plus and D extra. I've got my frequency set up here, and modem type is D star, and I'm currently uh, connected to a local reflector, module C, and my call sign. Now, one thing that you need to be aware of here, and this is in the documentation, you read the documentation, right? The manual, right? Okay. So if you go to the documentation on the open spot page, and I'll put all these links uh, in the description below, uh, there is a connector page for each one of the connectors. So the connector page that we're on here is the REF XRF connector. There is this little thing a little ways down that says if you have a registration, you have probably registered the space local module. In this case, set your open spot 2's local module to space, uh, in parentheses, empty character. Now, the only way that you can see that particular setting is to click the advanced uh, checkbox down here. And then you come down here and lo and behold, here's your local module. So what they tell you to do is that but most people should do this, I believe, you delete that out and you put a space in there. And then don't forget to come back up here and hit save. All right. So that's the only thing you really need to be terribly worried about on this setup. The rest of the setup is very straightforward. Um, on the radio connector set, uh, modem setup, again, it's very straightforward. Uh, you're going to do D-star, give it a frequency. And whether or not you want your CW enabled, there's really not a whole lot more here that you need to worry about. Okay, so that's configuring the open spot too. Now, uh, Pi Star does it a little differently. So if we go to our configuration here, we go down to the uh, D Star configuration. You'll see that they uh, have you set up. A RPT1 call sign and RPT2 call sign. This is going to be very important when we start programming the radio. You'll see the difference in the way that we have to program our D-Star radio compared to the open spot. But generally speaking, since this Pi Star is a UHF Pi Star and the UHF is associated with Module B, we leave that at Module B. Uh, and until they come out with the BHF version or whatnot, we really shouldn't really need to mess with that. Uh, again, I don't I haven't met, messed with the remote password. I haven't touched that. Here is our default reflector. Uh, choose an APRS host that is somewhere near where you live. And uh, I have no idea which one I should do because again, this is I have this first time setting up, but I don't know where the ones in the U.S. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'll just use Arkansas. Whatever. Uh, uh, choose your language for the gateway. I've turned off time announcements because I have this on when I'm working and I don't want that coming on when I'm talking to somebody. And here's another thing that really kind of I found interesting. Use D plus for XRF. What does this mean? Again, documentation. Uh, there is this nice little uh, PDF on amateur radio notes about how to set this up. And if you come down here to the notes, uh, use D plus for XRF related to using X reflectors. If your router doesn't support automatic UN, UP and P port forwarding, and you don't want to set it up manually, you can enable this option to make it possible for Pi Star to connect to all X reflectors. 
Okay. Now it also says if you make if you make if you change this option, you must update. So you have to update your Pi Star if you do that. Now, anyone who knows anything about security is very very paranoid about UPnP. Uh, I don't use UPnP. I disable it on every router that I have. I strongly recommend people that care about this to turn that off. And so what I have done in my configuration is I have turned on this use D plus for XRF so that I don't have to do any port forwarding and I don't have to rely on UPnP. And I did go up here and updated after I did the change. And so that's the setup. Uh, again, I will put all these links in the description, but that's really the difference between the two setups. So not a whole lot of different except for this bit and this bit. I assume because if you look back in the open spot configuration, and look at the connectors, it does specify D plus or D extra that the open spot is using that method instead of some other method for connecting so that the two seem to be very, very similar. All right. Now, where the fun comes in is when you're setting up your radio. Okay. So in the open spot documentation, the manual on, on, on site, in this first step section, there is setting up your transceiver D star radio setup, which brings you here. Okay. So what it says is set the radio to single frequency and you'll set your year call to CQ, CQ, CQ. Uh, make sure you're registered on your local D star gateway. And here is the, where it starts getting very differentiated. You don't have to worry about RPT one and RPT two. Okay. Now, that's very, very different from what the D-Star setup is on the Pi Star. Now, I had to do some searching on their internet to, fig to figure out how to do this. Uh, there's videos out there or whatnot, but there is one place where it kind of puts everything together, and that is on the forum.pistar.uk site. If you go into the uh, Pi Star information FAQ section, there is a post that says using D-Star mode with Pi Star. Again, I'll put this link in the description, and it breaks this out. So there are a couple of ways to ensure and enable PyStar Radio with your PyStar engine, et cetera, et cetera. All these settings uh, could help with PyStar not seeing your D-Star RF transmissions. It says set the radio to duplex mode, set the duplex offset to zero, set up your RPT1 and RPTQ fields. So that's, again, different from the open spot, and set the UR field to CQ, 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 et cetera. Now, what isn't apparent here is the difference in these two kind of setups in your radio. I have an ICOM ID51A, right? And I was trying to come up with a way to really kind of show the main differences here. And I decided I'm going to cheat. And the way I'm going to cheat is I'm going to use the RT system software. And I think this makes it very, very clear the differences between these two approaches. Now, the first thing we're going to do is looking at the open spot two. The open spot two can be a, sim a simplex DV frequency uh, as a memory channel, right? So you're not going to your repeater section. You're just setting up a simplex DV channel. So if I switch over to my ID51 plus programming software, you'll notice down here I'm in my memories section, okay? And I have several channels here, and I have one channel per function. I'll get that into a minute, to that in a minute. But you can see here, I've got my simplex frequency um, in operating mode DV. I give the channel a name. Uh, I set the, the the offsets and all this stuff really don't matter. And then your call sign CQ CQ CQ. Notice this is a digital the DV channel, not a repeater. And I have nothing in this RPT one RPT two call sign section. Okay, this is what works really well with the open spot. Now, CQ, CQ, CQ uh, is what you set your call sign section to, the UR call, whatever, uh, for actually transmitting out to your reflector. You can set up a seven spaces in E to do an echo test to your, uh, to your open spot, and that'll echo back your voice to your, uh, your radio to make sure that everything's working well. The I is, I call it info. What that'll do is that the open spot will report back which reflector you're connected to. It'll give you that connection information. Now, something else that the, that the open spot does is that if you put the reflector information with the space and the module in the your call, 
it'll it'll actually cause the open spot to switch to that reflector and module, which is really cool. But the point here being is that this is a just a, again a simplex frequency in a memory channel. We're not referencing a repeater. Now the um, pi star is different. So if we go back over here to the pi star information, the thing that they don't really make clear here is that you have to set this up as a, a D star repeater, okay? So in the uh, programming software, that's actually in a different section. That's over here in our DR memories, our digital repeater memories. And uh, this is the, the entire list here of all the repeaters that have currently got programmed into my ID51. Uh, I added an entry at the bottom for, for my repeater. So again, I have my repeater frequency for my Pi star. And notice that repeater, the repeater settings expect an offset. Okay. Um, this is what they say in the instructions to set your offset to zero. So you set uh, your offset to zero kilohertz, and it can be negative or plus because it really doesn't matter because it's zero. And just to ensure that your transmit and receive frequencies are the same. Okay. Beyond that, we're going to set DV as the operating mode. Uh, give the repeater, quote unquote, repeater a name. I call mine uh, my call sign in Zoom spot. Uh, now the sub name is related over here also to the bank. I just created a bank called Hotspot and a sub called Hotspot. That's just labeling. Uh, where's what's important here is again the RPT one call sign, RP two call sign. Notice that these match my uh, configuration setting in the Pi Star. So if I go back to my Pi Star, these settings here match these here. Now again, this B and this G have to be in the eighth spot. So I have a five-digit call sign, K0NGA. I have to put two spaces in and then the B, and then two spaces in and then the G. So if your call sign numbers is different, you have to put in the appropriate spaces in to where the B and G are in the eighth position. Okay? Uh, and the rest of this stuff is somewhat uh, optional, approximate, latitude, longitude, UTC offset, all kind of stuff. But again, this is set up as a repeater, and then you select the repeater from the list like you would select any other repeater. Now, you can use the echo and info and CQ, 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 CQ stuff in the your call, but you have to set it up differently because we're doing this as a repeater. And where you do that in the D star is to go up to the uh, digital D star settings and you have your your call settings here. Now, this is somewhere in the, if you have the native uh, ICOM software or if, you, or if you're using this on a Kenwood, uh, you should be able to figure out where this is. And in, in the uh, RT system software, it's in that particular menu. And you can set up your, your call uh, options to CQ, 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 E, and then I. And then once you have this set up, you put it into your radio, you pop up to the two section, you choose the your call sign selection, and then you can switch back and forth between these uh, two functions, these three, these three different selections to do the various functions, either transmit or do an echo or do an info. All right. So that's the difference between the two, all right? So again, just to sum up, setting up your radio for open spot for D-Star is a digital channel, and you can have one channel per function, and the RPT settings don't matter. For the Pi Star, you have to set it up as a repeater and have your RPT1 and RPT2 call signs in those selections, and then you can change your functions by setting up your, uh, your, your call settings in the software and in the radio. So that's it for this uh, versus uh, video between OpenSpot and PyStar for DStar. I hope you found it uh, useful. If you have any questions or would have uh, any suggestions for videos you'd like to see me do, put a note down in the comments. And until next time, have a good day.